Welcome everybody to episode 10 of Titan's Grave here on the Greater Research channel. Once again, the Greater Freaky joined by this wonderful cast minus uh, Jiggles tonight due to some unfortunate timing with, I think it's like maintenance on the power grid or something nearby him. So he's without power. So that kind of sucks for him, but Jiggles will miss you. Uh, and don't worry, your character will not die in your absence. Uh, <laughs> we might all die, but he won't. Die that's right. While he's gone. <laughs> uh, but before we get started, as always, we do like the usual round of little announcement here and there. And uh, first and foremost, uh, as always, we are dice affiliated with Die Hard Dice. Uh, if you do exclamation mark dice in the chat it will give you a little lovely link to the project that uh we get a little bit of kickback on this month if you do to choose to purchase which is this lovely chunk of a dice dire d20 uh and the exact name for some reason is you know, slipping there we go thank you and uh, the dracona eldrick Cuprum. So yeah, it it is you know compared to a uh, regular D twenty, it is you know a big boy. Uh, it is heavy and satisfying to roll in. Um, this also may more or less lead in. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can all use the promo code GR Crew to get ten percent off your entire order. Uh, even if you don't add this, uh, you can still get a discount because I know that big chunker dice. Or metal dice are not everybody's jazz, uh, but if you want to, you know, get stuff from Dark Heart Dice. They make amazing polyhedral, you know, polymer and metal dice. I absolutely adore them. They're been one of my go-to dice provider <laughs> for a while. So, and I'm super happy to be dice affiliated with them. And their yeah. customer service is amazing. Customer service is on point. Mm -hmm. Like every time I order from them, there's always a little personal note in the the order, which is just a lovely little touch. Up. Amazing. So yeah, they're they're just all overall good people. Customer service is awesome. If there's any question, concern, or like uh, you have to like a you do a weird, you know, oh well, I'm gonna order like a bunch of dice, but possibly you know send some to this address and some to this address. Email them and they will be super helpful. Things like that. They're it's they're just super, extremely amazing. Um, if you leave a note for them when you're yeah. putting in your order, they will respond to it in that personalized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm one that always does that with any orders from anywhere, and it's always nice to see yeah. people actually commenting back. And it's like, okay, this is one place I like. Yeah. 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 It's and like not just a personalized note, like handwritten mm -hmm. like, they took the time y'all yeah it's it's a little touch extra thing that you know just makes them even more wonderful uh and speaking of dice and things like that as uh um you may know and may have followed us on twitter tomorrow we are doing a charity one shot benefiting pablo foundation um, exclamation mark charity uh which give you a link to the campaign that we're doing. It's already live. Donation will not only impact the game, but also the life of children impacted by cancer. So cancer sucks. If, and the Pablo Foundation is working to make you know, everything better for them. And if they, with all the work, manage to hopefully be cancer-free to live a happier life after cancer. Um, with this, we have a few milestones. Uh, we would go a, a few goals <clears> here and there that we hope to reach. Uh, with with some of those milestones, there's gonna be some dice giveaway from Die Hard Dice. So you know, if you want, you know, get some dice from them, and you know, one of the dice giveaways actually, you know, getting this big bad boy here. Um, so yeah, if you want to, you know, possibly a chance to win one. Um, yeah, going in tomorrow. For the campaign, donate if you can, and make a big difference out there. Uh, and there's one thing that is at the under the under dollar mark called summon a unicorn. If we reach there, 
you gotta find out what it means. It involves unicorn, and unicorns are dope. Uh, but besides... <laughs> uh, but besides that, uh, other... Uh, one record announcements, that's something that we, uh, I usually plug in because I am forgetful. Uh, but yeah, we do have a YouTube page. Uh, you can do a mark YouTube. There we go. Uh, and that's where we, after every session, we end up uploading the VODs of that session. If you miss a previous <laughs> game, you can want to catch up on the campaign or, you know, relive some of our shenanigans. You can go there, follow. I hope that at some point we get 100 followers here so we can actually have a custom URL instead of just a bunch of random number and letters. What? <laughs> you know what? I will embrace the number and letters in the meantime. <laughs> um, but that is everything for me for my little announcement. Uh, I will leave it to our wonderful cast members to, you know, say a bit about themselves with, uh, and where they can find and if they have anything to plug before we get started. Rafiki, you're not gonna plug yourself. Yeah, what are yeah. you talking about? I mean, I, I plug myself already, right? I... No. Oh yeah. Did, you okay. More. You only did. The All right. Do I, the music thing. I'm Rafiki. <laughs> I mean, I do music under Raven's Call Production. Do exclamation mark Raven in the chat. Gonna lead you to, uh, I, I don't know where. Like, there we go. To SoundCloud, where you can find some of my music, and there's one song available also on Bandcamp. There we go. I did the thing. <laughs> As your cast goes, Rafiki, do the thing. Yeah. Do it now. I will log off and I will log <laughs> off. Don't make me turn don't make me turn the stream around. It's true. Summer, I I'm sure that you will find a way to do that, so yeah. <laughs> but you know, so, as somebody I will turn the stream the stream around. Fair, do you have anything to plug in? I am fair. I will be playing Saboon, uh, Sabine Mooncrest, rather. Uh, your, that Boon is the distant Saboon. cousin, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Saboon's actually um, dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sabine oh. Mooncrest, your bewildered uh, halfling fighter um, or warrior, whatever. Um, you could find me, uh, besides being here, you could find me on uh, Rolling These 20s Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern for. Philly by Night, our Vampire the Masquerade campaign. Um, this Saturday, actually, um, at noon Eastern, you can find me over on Fortner.com's channel for a charity D&D one-shot. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we are raising money for uh, to benefit uh, Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy Research. So please come through and donate and have a good time. I believe... Your donations will also impact the game. So, you know, come through and give me advantage for all of my roles. That would be perfect. Um, she needs it. There's a link for you in chat. <laughs> I actually, I really do. My roles so poorly all of the time. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can also just follow me on Twitter. I stream sometimes on my own channel, but that's when I feel like it. So that's it. I'm done. Celine, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say... The Fort Nerd uh, games for charity are pretty rough. The last one, they lost three of their players in the charity game. Oh my god, I'm afraid. I, I was already afraid because I was looking like at like the the player the characters, and I was like, so we only have like really like three martial classes. Only one <laughs> of them is like, you know, I'm like okay, this is going to be rough. Two of us are bards. One of those bards is me. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. It should be fun. I think it's going to be a very cute game. Um, if you read the, uh, if you go to the link that I posted in chat, there's actually, you'll see the prompt that the game is going to be based off of, and it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, no, they're a lot of fun. But I remember finding out, like, three of your players died? Holy buckets. What a what one shot were I mean, you running? <laughs> For I real? mean, honestly, I'm like, <laughs> Let me find a way to scam in another one of my characters and just go. <laughs> you don't need to update the overlay. I'm just gonna, still going to continue playing. <laughs> I'll just run two sheets. It's fine. I mean, I've done it. I've honestly done them before. <laughs> All right. So it's my turn. Yes. Uh, yes. Hi, I'm Celine. 
Uh, you can find me on Twitter uh, at Celine. You can find me on Twitch at Celine. Makes it easy because uh, I'm consistent at least. Uh, you can see that the link to my Ko-Fi is there in chat. Uh, I'm also uh, raising money through the rest of the year for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Um, as somebody who struggles with ADHD, anxiety, depression, <clears throat> burnout, you know, everything that everybody else is dealing with right now, plus the brain chemicals being off. Um, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention is a, a big, uh, it's a big deal for me. Um, so I believe we have... You have a link for that, don't you, Rafiki? Uh, or no? I've lost a link, but you are, are in the chat a very important potato, so you should be able to drop links. I'm a very important potato. Okay, I will get the link, and I will uh, give that to everybody here shortly. Um, yeah. Other than you'll find me here on Thursdays and Saturdays on my channel playing either Seven Days or um, Raft. Oh, you've gotten into raft. I love. Uh, that. Yeah, so we we did raft, and then <clears throat> we played through it, rushed through it, then started a new game that was not on easy, so Bruce could kill us. Um, mm. There it is, fairy. You're amazing. There's the best. Um. Yeah. So then we started over. So now we're done with the story, mm -hmm. as it is. So now. I'm building out an awesome, awesome raft. Awesome. So that's where we're at. It, and I keep saying we. It's me and um, Big B's hand uh, nice. that play for Survival Saturday. It's a lot of fun. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm glad to watch it. So I take it. It's my turn. It is. Okay. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Kitty. You can find me on Twitter at insanekitty32. I am... Um, you can mostly find me on there. I also have at my Etsy store, Causality Cat Studios, where I sell little good luck charms for those who sometimes roll really shitty. Maybe this will give you a little bit of luck. I need to buy Wait. like three more. <laughs> <laughs> for you, I might actually make a dice retreat. Because that might... Help I just get like more. a huge aquarium oh. <laughs> full of dice. <laughs> It'll basically be something like this. <gasps> oh my god, I would absolutely just, I want that, just to have that. That's so fucking cute. Are you joking? Please. Yeah. Get at me in the comments. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just tell me what color and what theme you want. Okay, well, we'll and chat after. Because I have to do one anyway so but that's it for me awesome yeah go support all these wonderful people uh, wherever you can find them because I mean they're amazing otherwise you know I would not be playing with them because they're amazing enough to you know, tolerate me every week so alright oh. but you know before we you know start Let's roll in the uh, small intro video and we'll be back in a moment. And we are back. So, last week here on Titan's Grave, uh, everybody made it back to the city safely. 
which is great. That's the important part. Uh, after that, they met with Mr. Voss, who more or less told them about that things about that how complicated life and fate is. Uh, reveal some suspicion that he had about the party and who they are. Who, more importantly, who they are really is it to, as well as worries about current events, especially in regards to the possible return of the Prophet the One. Yeah, I, I, I see you doing a face. <laughs> no, those little, you know, alien, like weird little, you know, alien-looking creature. No, they're not. They were not there around just for you know, because you no, know, things are happening in the world. That's a good thing, especially with that app uh, showing up. But word asks that it is possible that you know, the current chamber where Prophet is kept because no, she did not die during the war. She was actually you know, sealed away. Uh, may be weakening. Uh, the boss as party if you know they would kindly you know check on said things as they may be some of the few people able to actually access location and probably feel it. He would do it himself, but it's currently you no know, physical states. Does not exactly allow a lot of mobility. Uh, yeah, so there was a, you know a lot of discussion. Uh, there was a discussion about that. <laughs> discussion about you know family members uh, lost and possibly maybe found. The, uh, information about things of the past. And uh, that may be linked to. The current event more than they thought it would be. But that's where we are. I do believe last uh, where we left was back at Voss Tower. Mm -hmm. um, where uh, you all there just vibing, doing your things, you know, digesting whatever happened. I brought a bunch of donuts. A bunch of donuts were brought. And two gold's worth of coffee. I That's a lot of a coffee, of, because I bought a bunch of uh, lizards on the stick, mm -hmm. and then proceeded to not share. <laughs> <laughs> when I say good coffee, I mean the really expensive stuff, <laughs> like the stuff that'll last me a month. <laughs> I mean, for two gold of coffee, you could have like, yeah, a month worth of coffee, if not more, even the fancy <laughs> stuff. Well, I don't know if we're going to ever go off somewhere and not get back for a month. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> what if we never come back? That's true. <laughs> so yeah, we left off where we were all sitting around a table eating donuts. Somebody was eating lizard. Talking. I was also eating donuts. <laughs> I mean, it's, I that sound you know, really good right now. I have cheesecake lizard. in the fridge. I need yeah. to remember I have cheesecake in the yeah, fridge. Yeah, I'm looking forward to eating my, my ice cream after this. <laughs> I have a key lime pie in the freezer. I can eat that. All right, so back on track. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've all talked about food and gotten ourselves hungry. Yeah. And... Um, what is the next course of action you, you know as a day to do whatever you need to do you choose to follow the you know the path more or less laid before you uh, is entirely up to you whatever may ensue after that will happen so So I take it eventually Ava appears. At oh, yeah, eventually. Uh, yeah. The, um, for some reason, in like Zekreen, so that just goes super quiet for some reason. Power nap or something. And Ava <laughs> just, you know, starts speaking up. 
<laughs> Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> the oh, magic God. of television. She's Ava, be... you've been so quiet. I forgot you were here. The donuts were delicious. Hey, yeah. I mean, they are from uh, Dragons and Donuts. They're the most amazing donut place in this entire city. That's why I got so many. They actually oh. last pretty well, too. So, like, um, do you guys believe Voss in what he's saying? Because, I don't know. <sighs> I am, to be truthful, I am kind of shocked. Not because of the whole, oh, we're descended from heroes, oh, blah, blah, blah. The fact that I've known him for 10 years, and he never once tried to contact her saying, hey, I think I found your granddaughter who probably disappeared a few years ago. Yeah, that totally dick move. I don't understand why he would do that. I'm really sorry. The only thing I can think of is the fact is that A... He's supposed to be this person who can get dirt on anybody and find people. B, I'm wondering if my grandmother is one of those people that you piss off, it's like you don't want to piss them off. And finding me after uh, over a hundred years and knowing I've been in the city, I have a feeling that if she is like this, she would probably be very, very pissed off and attempt to kill him, or who knows what she would try to do. I never met her, so I'm only going from what I can figure out why he might not want to contact her. So, yes. All I know is, like... <clears throat> My family has some explaining to do. Cause like, I just, I, I just, I. So being an Aria just over here in the dead parents club, like, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. My parents could be alive. They could be dead. We don't know. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Averlyn's like, yes. my family's alive and nobody told me sh <laughs> Like, <laughs> you'd have thought this would have been a story. Like, well, I, mean, I mean, we told stories um, in my village, but, you know, people like to exaggerate and so you don't take it seriously. Like, I mean, if I survived a big war, I would definitely tell people that I did something that I didn't actually do and I'm not a liar but I mean I would want to make myself look great and that's true people like to exaggerate and sometimes your memory kind of makes things bigger than it is like saying oh this orc was like all sized oh this orc was 10 feet tall with a giant hammer and it tried to kill me and it's like oh. yeah sorry not to mention the fact that he also stated that, oh, uh, our entire group will probably be after us trying to kill us, so, or capture us for our blood, and ay, ay, ay. this is... I can't figure out if that's, like, worse or better than the city being, like, wanting to come after us. I mean, I think it's the same. I think that the city coming after us was um, the prophet making a move. That's what I'm thinking as well. Basically, we were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They realized who one or more of us were, and we're like, hey, let's use city prophets to get these people and use them or kill them or who knows what they have planned for us. And 
Though I did find out that um, I know where my grandmother is, if she's still alive. So maybe, I mean, okay, I know we said we wanted to go to dude's house that I can't remember the name of. Um, architect dude. Um, oh, um, I literally can't think of his name. I have it written down. I can remind you what his name is if you don't find it. Um, I have a lot of notes. Armand. That's right, Armand. Um, well, we want to go to Armand's old estate and maybe find something there. I can't remember what we were trying to look for there. Or talk to his family if they're still there. But maybe, I mean, should we go look for your grandma first? I think I still need time to process. Okay. And so ways from what I saw on the map. I think I, I as a player don't remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was uh, let's see. It was way south. The southern side of the continent in the southern highlands. So yeah, it's way down there. And it's like yeah. uh the mana would probably be the better choice because that's going to be a trap. Um, where is the manor in relation to where we are? Is it on the way to the Southern Highlands? Is it in the opposite direction? Like, could we just do, like, a drive-by of the manor and be like, all right, we're going to yeah. do the thing, and then, like... Yeah, exactly. Like, is it, like, <laughs> could it be, like, a pit stop? Like, when you're going on a road trip and you have to see, like, the world's largest ball of yarn, like, on those <laughs> things, and you just take a little, like, you go to, like, a tourist trap, can, is it like that? So I don't think it was explicitly mentioned during the last session, but let's quote unquote retcon that for simplicity's sake. Uh, you know, discussing the details and things like that uh, after the fact that uh, you were meant. Uh, it was to uh, you were told that it is around the moon perch, which is a bit like like southwest of Nestoria. About like a full week's travel, so it's not too terrible uh, compared to you know the, the southern islands, which is way further down. But yeah, it's not super super close, but you know it's in the rough general direction to go south if where you wanted to go. I mean, it seems like it's kind of on the way-ish, so... So, hit there, the manor, because I think, if I remember correctly, it's abandoned, but... Uh, but kept we up. don't know. I don't know. I don't, think we, I don't think we know. I think we speculated that it could be abandoned, but he had family and stuff, so we're not entirely sure, like... If they abandoned what, it or... What the state of like everything that. is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's just go to the mana and then from there, um, go see if my grandmother's still alive. I'm both terrified and excited to meet her if she's actually alive. Um, but anyways. I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe she's nice. I feel like just because she maybe doesn't have a good relationship with the boss doesn't mean that she won't have a good relationship with you and i mean we only know we we don't even know his full story and we don't even know the reasons why he did what he did not really and yeah. we're never going to tr trust him and who knows uh she might actually give us more information that we can find here yeah. about boss so i mean if anything if she does turn out to be an asshole um, we could just treat her like a re like a a font of knowledge and then move on. That's true. But I don't think she's gonna be an asshole. I hope. We know it is weird knowing you didn't really have any blood family to find out. Oh, you just might. I'm still kind of dealing with that. Avalyn is just sitting at the table, like, she's like, I don't, 
I don't know how to. She says not relatable for me. Yeah. She's like, I'll be like, you you tell that she wants to say something like supportive and helpful, but at the same time, like she is the most vanilla of the vanilla like she grew up with a family like everybody's still there everybody's back home like <laughs> she's just like i don't how do i deal with this how do i be good yeah. friend yeah <laughs> i i think sabine's in a similar position to that where like she can't relate to the idea that maybe she still has family out there somewhere like she just can't not after like the things that she saw happen she's like i like i don't know if that like i don't want to she doesn't want to put any hope into that because it might just backfire on her and then she just would just hurt more but she's like patting aria's hand like, yeah maybe <laughs> i mean like family doesn't always like get along but I, you, you don't like really know each other so maybe i mean i'm sure it's gonna be like rocky and stuff um but like you never know and 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 like sabine said if she's if she's rude like we don't have to put up with that That's true. I've dealt with assholes in the past. I can just treat them like treat her like an asshole that I deal with and just go, okay, bye. <clears throat> I mean, there's always the phrase that like family is what you make of it. Yeah. And if you like That's true. just because you may or may not share like genes with this person doesn't mean that like they're really family. Yeah. The blood of the the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. So I mean, if anything, we're your family. And if she's an asshole, then she can go fuck herself and also maybe we'll like steal from her. I should uh, on that note of family, I should definitely tell you that my found family before ten years ago might be after me now. Oh. Well that's Ooh. awkward. Yeah, let's just say my ex kind of became a little bit obsessive when there was an accident. Okay. Yeah. So, Arya, so, you need to, like, level with us. Is there anybody that's, like, not trying to kill you other than us? Is like, this going to be, like, is this going to be, like, that one um, play that I saw um, on... <laughs> at the Netflix theater or secret obsession is it like that. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Um, <laughs> Aria kind of pauses and goes, uh, how do I put this? Because I, honestly, like, I feel like every time you open your mouth, there's like, oh my God, everything is yeah. weird. And somebody's like, trying to kill me or like, I like have this enemy. And I mean, I'm, 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 we can totally defend you from that now that you've told us that it's a thing, but like, for real? Yeah. Like, and how many enemies have you made? Yeah, like, it, you're like an onion, but like, a lot of the layers are kind of shitty. <laughs> like, um, nodding. Well, I mean, okay, just kind of long story short, because I'm condensing about 100 years worth of life experience into maybe 10, 30 minutes of talking uh oh god how do i explain this so originally my ex and i were on the streets and we uh, how do i put it basically created a found family of thieves which eventually turned into a thieves guild i was second in command dealing with a lot of information being underground, you do make enemies, especially when you're the one who knows a lot of their, uh, how do I say, know their skeletons in their closet, their dirty laundry, 
Um, a lot of that information, a lot of people don't want out, and in most cases, they would rather have that person dead. So there are a few people that definitely want me dead once information gets back out there. But my ex, um, given how much knowledge I have, uh, let's just say I am extremely valuable person that she would probably want back for the knowledge I have. And unfortunately, I cut ties by faking my death 10 years ago with the help of people here. And well, that was my only way of actually escaping her. So yeah, seeing my face in one of my, dis um, even if it's in disguise, she would probably have realized I am still alive and not dead. So like, we think that the ex doesn't want to kill you, but we think that she wants to capture you and get all of the stuff that's in your brain. But then she will probably kill you because she's probably mad at you for like faking your death. Oh, oh uh, yeah, she is. Should Given be. how the guild turned, very dark. I mean, originally we would steal from the rich and actually give to the poor. But then that kind of went out the window and money and power became more of the driving force. And I, I couldn't take it anymore once I found out what was actually going on behind the scenes. Should we go kill her? <laughs> I mean... Uh, I don't know what, how, where she's standing right now in the power struggle of the city. And personally, I would rather just not have to deal with her. So okay. leaving the city, which I know she's here, <laughs> might be our best option right now. I mean, I think our best option would be to kill her, but I think second best option would be to just leave the city. So yeah, we could do that. Thank you. I mean, it kind of sucks here anyway. Besides the food. And Farkaya. And that hobbit guy. Applin. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, I mean, the yeah. <laughs> the innkeeper. I mean, the there's a lot of really nice places, but we just haven't seen them. And unfortunately, some of the really good places were unfortunately destroyed 50 years ago. There was an amazing theater that, dear God, it was absolutely beautiful, but it got demolished. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's get ready to go. I, I kind of want to get out of the city as well. All right, so I'm assuming the plan is to go probably towards... The manor? Yes. Or... <clears throat> All right. So 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 before before they leave, um Averlyn is going to like write a like do they have like do we have email? Like I never really asked. Like does email exist here? Like So uh Email in the way that we know it does not really exist. Encrypted data can be transferred and carried with, like, through carriers and things like that. Or it'd be like lo very, very local uh, communication. Because, you know, chaos, war, internet does not really exist per se. Okay. Um, oh, that's right. We had that entire conversation of the internet dying. Yeah. So... Um, Averlyn w wants to, like, write a letter to her family back home <laughs> and be like, hey, dad, found out about secret hero relatives. Dad, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, before they leave the city. Um, mm -hmm. so however that 
happens, right? If that's, I have to send a letter and I can get it when I get back in town kind of thing, or if there's like an electronic delivery, whatever. However that works, I just want to reach back out and go, seriously, like, WTF. Valid. I mean, with the current resource available, and it would be possible for it to send uh, you know, message uh, pretty much anywhere reachable. Uh, it may take some time to you know reach there, and it's like like gonna be like an email that you just you know transmitted within like a few minutes. But it is possible for you to send information. Okay. You currently have um, partnership with people that have access to information and send and receive information. So, or you can go outside of, you know, this place and use. Um, carrier within the city. Yeah, she wouldn't use the organization that they're like mm -hmm. finding out this information from because she don't trust them. Like not even Valid. a little bit. Uh, so she, you know, find a a courier service or whatever delivery service in the city and and pay to have it sent that way. Not that like. They couldn't find out the information, but you know. Yeah. Uh, and she'd pay whatever extra to like express it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, pay for express shipping. One week delivery, please. <laughs> oh, one delivery, yeah. You send this letter and then we straight up like leave. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's totally. I mean, and she's aware, but you know, she figured it out. So, uh, for sake of brevity, and you know, not having silly a full other like shopping episode. Oh, uh, before we leave, yes. before I forget. Uh, Arya is going to check the oak tree to see if uh, there's been any drops of uh, the info network basically, quote unquote, coming back online with the people that she trusts okay. most. Uh, just because, uh, old brain here, could you remind me exactly again what you were looking for with that? Uh, she was basically trying to get the information uh, network back up so that she can be fed the information of what's going on around the city, start to get back into the saddle like she was in the past, just so she can start looking for uh, if there's anything strange connected to the Prophet, um, anything with the guilds that had the sudden switch of uh, leadership, anything weird going on with them, and also if anybody can dig up any information on Voss. Okay, um, so you, you know go to the uh, you did dead drop spot. Um, there is indeed something it will uh, there for you, and essentially you know it's not you no know, specific information about, but essentially just reopening the network that you were doing here to make sure that, you know still out there and alive. Um, you get a message that. I mean, if a letter could have, you know, a written tone, uh, would be surprised. Uh, essentially, like expressing that that you that you know, uh, present you're still around. There's few people. There's only a few still around. Okay. But. They can see what they can do to reconnect the dots and get what you may need. Because, uh, you know, essentially what you get is that network is more or less there, was just not really active, or mm -hmm. pretty much left there to nearly nothing in the past few years. So, but there's still a few of them. Late, uh, just, Hanging around, waiting for you know, 
ch- to find out shit. So. Okay. Uh, she would probably leave another note saying, "Try to find more people that we trust, and ex- start expansion." Perfect. All right. Oh. Um. Any quick thing? Well, quick thing. You can take the time that you need because you have all all the time in the world to leave towards your destination. This may just impact whatever you know the world's happening in the world. Same time. Uh, whatever you may need or wish to do. Uh, before uh, possibly leaving the city. I'm assuming, I mean, Arya, that you're clever enough to more or less adorn a disguise while traveling the city. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I just assume that you're not just, you know, thereby, you know, unfold you. Oh, yeah. Arya is basically currently looking like, um, has a hoodie, hoodies up, and she just looks like this almost like a teenager college student that's angsty all right <laughs> she's getting back into her emo phase okay i get it yeah i respect that I mean, basically uh, she's going okay what are the things that uh chimera wouldn't be looking for goth elf okay. aria yeah mm-hmm. just the Bang swept in front of her eyes. Really <laughs> All to choppy. One side, like yeah, real chop, like hideously choppy cut on the hair. Um, way too many studded belts. <laughs> I'm real. This is a self roast. That was me in high school. So, so that's the question: Is Arya wearing like a pair of large, like black jinkos? That's yeah, go- no, that's goth. That's not emo. I know. If you're emo, you're wearing the tight. Emo, pants. you're wearing skinny jeans. Yeah, are you wearing skinny jeans or jinkos? Let's see. Hi, Jinkos. <laughs> that's an eighty-seven. So she's wearing the jinkos. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I was just very confused about her face. So it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, Giant hoodie, Jinkos. Bro. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I dig the vibe. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, do your own style. Screw everything else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nobody uh, expects the Jinko. <laughs> Nobody does. Dang, I didn't know this. This I didn't know the store had a hot topic. Is it right <laughs> around the corner from Spencer's gifts? Um. I mean, she probably know Arya probably knows how to find shit in this city. <laughs> it's like, where the hell did you find this? Don't ask. You I don't, don't want to know. Yeah, <laughs> the back of my closet. I mean, <laughs> possibly, right? <laughs> uh, so, besides, you know, returning to your teenage years, uh, doing anything else? <laughs> Uh, nope, that's pretty much it. Cool. And like any uh, tools, items, equipment that you may be looking around to acquire uh, and that you may not already have at your disposal that may help you with future ventures. Let me see. If y'all have like a lot of like stuff already so i don't know what you may need but who knows i'm gonna assume no for myself mostly because i can't think of anything sabine would actually need um i mean or lizard no for the road yeah it won't keep though i tried eating it cold it's just not good after the i mean there's always lizard jerky she goes to get some lizard jerky Actually, before leaving, uh, Arya would probably go and see if there's any like regular crossbow bolts, shock bolts, or sleep bolts in the armory that got maybe restocked. All right, uh, you're looking for shock bolts, sleep bolt, right? Uh, sh- yeah. All right. If there was a poison bolt, she'd be like, "I have questions, but I'm not going to ask them. I will just take." 
Let's see if there's stuff. Okay, so you do find a few things. Uh, you do find one shock bolt. Okay. You do find two sleep bolt. And do you find any poison? Uh, you do oh. find one. Okay, cool. Uh, it's not something that they, you know, carry around all that much. Just because it is, you know, complicated to make. It's also old school. It is also very, very old school. That's, you know, an antique ear almost. Uh, mm -hmm. But still potent. There's only three, uh, four people who use it, and Arya is one of those four. Yeah, everybody just upgraded like to blasters. You, you're, you're still kicking with the crossbow. Um. All right. Killing Arya. Have, have. Not you, the person. You, the, the um, human. The human. <laughs> you. The human. The um, real human. No, she's she's basically got like I have plenty of charges left on my batteries. Yeah, and think, uh, between I you can't. and uh, Zachary, you have a fuck ton of batteries. So yeah. So we're we're good. You good? Fantastic. Yeah. All right. So packing your things. Get it, making sure that everything is in order. Hopping into method of transportation, uh, if you wish to be for it to be provided by the current company or want to find your own way, that is up to you. Uh, that's something that you can discuss after the break. So we're gonna take a few, uh, a little bit of break. Uh, I'm sure there's some uh, puppies that would like to do some business as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I keep picking her up because uh, otherwise she runs around in circles and... alright so we'll be back uh, in just a little bit once uh, everything has been attended to uh, so stick around uh, for more whatever will happen be right back
we are back. And, you know, it was just, you know, until the break that I realized I didn't put music on. <laughs> but, but it's all right. Just, you know. Cool. So. Here we are after a discussion on plans to, uh, to do and what with information and preparation to possibly add towards the manner of uh, Armin Reed, uh, who has been long deceased, but uh, whatever remained there is there. And um, your way of transportation is yours, so however you wish to proceed. You have access to money and resource around the city. Or do you wish to travel? Um, should we just take one of their cars? I mean, usually Seems the cars easiest. are really comfortable for some of them. And if we're going to be doing a week trip, possibly longer, we might want to drive in comfort. So it is a is it a week by vehicle or a week like walking? It's about a week by vehicle. Okay. But obviously, you know, for you know, the sake of RPG and things like that, we're gonna do montage style. Uh, oh man, you don't want us to like RP out seven days of hanging out in a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try, okay. I mean, how there, much food there's, have there's gonna, so there's gonna be like you know. There's gonna be like you know mo moments that you can RP things in there. You're camping out, dig a hole to go to the bathroom. Mm hmm Okay, roll a dex check for that. <laughs> just, just rent an RV. It's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, do they have RVs? Can we just take an RV? I mean, I'm sure that the equivalent of you know RV or bigger van more or less exists. So basically, an SUV. Yeah. With a big enough back where you can probably sleep a few people in sleeping bags. Because I mean, yeah, let's get one of those. There is there there is vehicle like for larger cargo, so there is you know options for like things like RV. Are they you know something that is very very common? Not really. But then again, cars are not very common in general either. So, but yes, there's a, the more or less uh, as good as it gets uh, RV-like vehicle with no place to sleep in, and you know, you you may have to. I mean, let's face it. For certain things in an RV, you, want, you don't want to sleep. You know. Go to the bathroom for that just in case something happened to the system regardless um and somebody that ate so many lizard people might hear things from the bathroom so <laughs> hey i already rolled a i already rolled a con save on that i'm good all right <laughs> good you can't take that back yeah but no that depends on how much you eat <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was for the that was for the lizard on a stick. He hasn't given you the con rolls for like the lizard jerky. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> I am on your side. I think you should get bonuses because you've been eating mm -hmm. so much lizard. You've now built up a tolerance. Yeah, I agree. That's right. I'm the, totally on your side, fair. The, the challenge rating is Thank lower. You. So yeah, uh, getting the one of our, you know, sci-fi fantasy RV vehicle <laughs> with General Court in it, um, who's driving said uh, vehicle for either the first leg or the entire journey. I would say... We definitely should be taking turns. So that we each get a chance to rest. So, are you gonna rig something for me? To be able to reach the... 
That's gonna be Sabine's gonna sit in the chair and like one of us is gonna be laying on the floor hitting the pedal. Yeah, there's your there's your fucking break right there. <laughs> break! No, no, not that hard! No! Stop fuck okay. Just give me some fucking stilts. I mean that is a possibility. <laughs> Extendo legs. Yeah. Yeah. Um <gasps> Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah. that being said, yeah. there is the extendable pole. That is a piece of equipment in uh, in Titan's grave. Yes. So yeah, if we're talking about making sure that we're gonna like take turns driving and we need to rig something up for for Sabine, a couple extendable poles. Okay. Um, and like some wooden blocks and strap. Like it'd be totally and... easy to to make something work. Can I do some kind of check to even? See if Sabine knows how to fucking drive. She grew up in the goddamn country. That's what I'm wondering. Because uh, <laughs> I know Arya can drive. Sabine can probably drive. Zach can drive. Good Ava can question. probably drive. Sabine. <laughs> just. I probably just said it because my brain is saying, yeah, you're going to roll high enough to get it. Just. I mean. <laughs> and I, Ava. I would say intelligence, and if you have it, engineering. You know I don't. You know I don't have that. You absolutely know I don't have that. What's my? Let me look at what my intelligence scores. Hold on. I mean okay, that's it's a, a two. It's a two. That's, that's a, not bad. That's a super simple thing to assemble. Like seriously, it, it's more about do I even know how to do it? Do right. I even know how, how to drive? Fucking drive? Like. It, it, <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to drive. What did you I roll? Don't. Um, I got a one, a one, a two. Or total um, love. Um, uh, six. So, if <laughs> for any reason you choose to let Sabine drive, I, as the <laughs> GM here, would strongly advise that it is done outside of the wall of the city, where there's no traffic. <laughs> Just for no general, like, public safety. Wait, didn't they also try this early on with the buggy? Yeah, and it turned out the exact same <laughs> I way. Think I, was, I think I was sitting on someone's lap. Yeah, I wasn't actually doing any cars. driving. <laughs> I was just, I was like a kid just doing the wheel. <laughs> I had no like when your parents are like, when you're, yeah. yeah oh, you want to try, you want to learn oh, how to drive? Oh, you want to drive? Okay. okay. Oh, drive? And it was like that. that. You realize that you're like, they shouldn't drive. They should never be allowed to be behind a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so it would probably be between Zach, Arya, I'm, and, I'm and sorry. Ava. <laughs> I rolled so bad. <laughs> I, mean, well, I mean, it makes it interesting. But here's the thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think she would be willing to like stay up with somebody to keep them company because yeah. she feels bad that she can't contribute to this tr to driving. <laughs> At least you're consistent on those roles, and I appreciate it for sake of storytelling. <laughs> you're so, you're consistently yeah, bad at you know attempting bad, at driving. Just being, just being bad. I think the first time I did it, I got middling, but it wasn't yeah. great. Like probably would have gotten somebody injured. Yeah. It's a bigger vehicle, right? It's more complicated. All right. Even like with all the like the phone books you stack up on the seat, I still can just barely see over the dashboard. It's kind of just a nightmare, <laughs> and it would take more time to figure out how to make it work for me anyway. Get all set up perfectly else. ready. Yeah. And it's like, oh wait. She can't. And like we every to... time, every time we switched, we'd have to go through all the rigmarole of getting the seat set up for me to be able to drive. It's like okay, we have to move the seat forward. Yeah. But not too lot. far forward. Because, yeah, and we have to make sure the poles are the same, are the correct length. Otherwise, we're fucked. Um, <laughs> so really, me not driving is probably the best thing that could happen because it would just add maybe like an extra half, like three days to our fucking trip. <laughs> I mean, we could get flat tires. We could get who knows what else. Yeah, but you you don't you don't want to add all this all my bullshit on top of that. All right. <laughs> so exiting exiting the city, um, 
who is uh, driving. I mean, you have general direction of where you go. You're, gonna, you're not going to have, you know, fancy GPS tracking and things like that. Uh, just because, you know, systems and technology and limitation. But, you know, there's, you know, the good old analog map. So I suggest it be somebody who is familiar with the city. Maybe Zach can drive. Sure. Or Let, let's... Arya can drive. <laughs> Because Avrilyn is out of her element here. I mean, if Zack is driving and I rule for his sake, not too bad. So do we want Zack to drive? Yeah, Zack can drive uh, for a Zack's not here, so he has to do whatever we want. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggles, yeah. congratulations. You have become our chauffeur. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you've been promoted to sh uh, the chauffeur. But also, hook up some Nas to the engine so we can go real fast. Yes. I want to fast and the furious this sh <laughs> I mean, we could. There's stops. Hey. <laughs> there would have franchises. I'm not surprised that something like that would happen anyway. <laughs> Tokyo RV drift. Like... <laughs> Tokyo RV drift. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's like the worst one. Mm. Oh, but the soundtrack's amazing. <laughs> I, I, yeah. the soundtrack is amazing. As long as you know, fast and it's called fast in your seat belt. I'm gonna be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> so driving outside of the city. The, uh, the fast and the mobile home. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> All right, so driving out outside the city, you're on your first day of your journey. Um, anything you wish to do, discuss, or attempt to do during that time in the RV? Reading a book on, I don't know, magic and shit, or yeah, other things? Yeah, still reading my book. It's fascinating. Yeah, I'm going to take pictures with my Polaroid. That's it. That's it? Hey, yeah, I, I, you, you have it. Yeah, um, that Arya part. is reading the old uh, Elven history book that she got at Fakaya's. Okay. <laughs> Based on our conversation during the break, I thought you were going to say Old Test. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, 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 there's it's, 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 some <laughs> weird similarities for some reason. Elf were weird. <clears throat> Kitty's like reading the Apocrypha. <laughs> <laughs> and in this day we learned how to use magic <laughs> it was a great day it was a sad day <laughs> what have I done <laughs> uh, so what is this uh, Averlyn? Averlyn's doing what she normally does take her guns apart clean them and put them back together <clears throat> In the safety of a oh. van. Yeah, in the close con confines of a moving van. Great. I mean, taking them up, look, take, as somebody who has taken apart guns, you can totally do it in a vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be unloaded first? I'd take the batteries in and stuff yeah. out. Just make sure, you know, make this sure is not it. in. <laughs> as long as there's no ammunition ha in it, you're fine. Would Avish ha has Ava shown Sabine how to do that with her gun sword? Yes. Okay. She's still like watching like, okay, okay. And Ava, like the first time you cleaned it, like she probably like looked over your shoulder the entire time and went, okay, wait, no, 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 do this God, thing. I'm so, so nervous. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. No, it's <sighs> fine. You're not going to break it. Like, it's totally fine. But like, like you need to make sure. <laughs> But, like, you totally need to make sure... Yeah, that's never coming out. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> you totally need to make sure that you get stuff, like, up in this spot. You want to make sure that that looks shiny every time you clean it. So, like, you're going to wipe it off and then put oil on. Like, I know. But it, like, burns up and gets sticky and it's gross. Like... But you definitely want to make sure that you don't put this part in backwards. Just whatever uh, you do, don't put this part in backwards. Both, they both, both sides look the same. 
Both sides look the same. Well, no. So there's like this tiny little, <laughs> see that tiny little piece there? That's the back. Oh, oh God. Okay. Okay. I, um, okay. In her head, she's like, oh God, what was I thinking? <laughs> but it's still dope as hell. It's just, so like, if it makes you feel any better, you don't have to take that part out every time. Okay. Just, <laughs> just when it turns purple. Because that means that stuff is, like, burned on it. <laughs> okay. I think I understand. So I am totally here if you have questions. Mm-hmm. And if you need me to, like, write down instructions, I can do that, too. Oh. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Maybe with, um, pictures? Oh, I mean, yeah, no, I can totally do I that. I mean, because it's just like, I'm just a very visual learner. Um, reading wouldn't really necessarily help. Like, that's why I'm not really getting anything out of this magic book. Like, my pictures, like, I need, like, diagrams. Like, how, to, how do you do your hand motions? Um, and it just doesn't have that in here. So I'm hoping that maybe when we get to the manor, it will have books like that with, like, instructions in it. Yeah, no, I totally, I totally understand. <clears throat> My dad used to like take notes and notes on weapons for like pages and pages and pages. And I'm convinced he used a weird like shorthand or something because every time I went to go look at it, it made no sense. But then he would show it to me and I'd be like, oh yeah, no, that totally makes sense. Why do your notes suck so bad, dad? And he'd be like, well, because they're my notes, you shouldn't be reading my notes anyway. And I'm like, Dad. Yeah. Well, don't leave your notes out for everybody to see, Dad. Like exactly, whatever. right? Like if you don't want me to look at your stuff in the workshop, don't leave it on the workbench. Yeah, or maybe you know, like lock the door. Well, or but if you lock the door, I couldn't get into the workshop. I mean, yeah, that's my that was the point. <laughs> well, yeah, but I have to work in there. <laughs> He just needs to put his stuff away. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so then that's the other thing Avrilyn would probably be working on is a diagram with picture instructions for <laughs> Sabine to, so that she can clean her gun sword. <laughs> I mean, context is so important for this whole conversation. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's like... not necessary at all. But out of context, this is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm just thinking right now, as this is all going, the cleaning of the guns, Arya is just next, in the next seat over, working on making sure her crossbow is perfectly ready, It the um, mechanism to make it um, go like that works, and she's just looking at him going, I'm so glad I go old school. If anything, your thing is as, as more complicated. Mm -hmm. All right. I, does she does this? Are you say that out loud? Mm. Oh, oh, I was okay, gonna say because like... if you did, like, <clears throat> I'm sure Evelyn could like go through and list every weak point of your weapon. <laughs> and be like, okay, yeah, so old oh, school, yeah. totally. Here's all these fail points. Here's why mine is better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh no, she definitely knew that was going to happen if she said something. <laughs> She's been around you guys long enough. So, trading seats a few times here and there, traveling uh, for most of the night, and you are more or less at, at eventually at the you know for a few days, you are more or less at the halfway point where um, engine troubles start to rise. Uh, because, you know, driving non-stop, you know, it's not easy on the machinery. Um, and you usually fall over. Um, since our resident engineer is not here, I guess it's going to fall on the current uh, engineering person to see what is currently happening with the vehicle. Do you see the terror in my eyes? Because that's terror. Yes, that's the whole point. 
And so currently Zach is in the back. Um, so is Zach like taking a nap? Like what's going on? Sure. Zach, Zach, is, uh, Zach, Zach is napping for the first time in days. I think he's in the back uh, car sick for some reason. <clears throat> yeah, you know, like that, like, you know, didn't... and like laser jerky that may have been shared with him, but just really not hitting well with him. No, it's I mean, lizard still... eating lizard. It's kind of weird. Yeah, he needs to be sleeping because if he's awake in any way, shape, or form, like, Averlyn's mm-hmm. like, oh my god, Zach, help! <laughs> okay. So here he's we go. sleeping in the back. He's like fake sleeping, so he doesn't have to be bothered with us. Look, I mean, we've all done it. It's true. Okay, so. And you open the hood, and the heat coming out of that sheen is ridiculous. I mean, it's already really warm in like the wasteland of Volcana. This is like 10 times worse. Are there, like, any dials or anything? Like, how much is it, like, an actual car? Like, does it have, like, an overheating thing? Like, did the check engine light come on? Like... <laughs> I mean, chicken uh, check engine light has been on since, you know, like, maybe, like, five minutes after going. Um, you know, oh. the gauge come and, come and go. Um, they give us a shitty vehicle? No, I think it's we've been driving nonstop. Haven't given it a proper rest. So if the machine is built right, it shouldn't need a rest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how many vehicles have you actually seen around? Not many. No machine in this or in Volcano is built that right. Mm-hmm. Okay, <clears throat> so. She opens the hood and, like, gets, I'm assuming, like, steam and heat and psh. Yeah. Mm, great for the and, you great know, for your pores. I was going to say, like, I wasn't expecting an engine facial today. <laughs> like, no, thank you. I put a, I put a sheet mask on you. Right. <laughs> and, I mean, because that, you know, most things are battery powered. It's not necessarily, you know, a good kind of steam eater. Oh. Oh, oh. never mind. Never mind. Right. So she no, goes, ah, that's... Okay. So, is the is it, like, leaking any sort of fluid anywhere? Uh, like... Give me a perception, either seeing or smelling or, or earring, or whatever you wish to do, to... Whatever sort of perception you... You wish to do with the oh. focus uh, is are oh, we gonna roll with it? So what are we choosing so for your a, focus? So I don't have one. So, okay. uh, so that's a seven. So that's a seven. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. So it takes you quite some time. Look around. Try not to you know get overly close and burn yourself because that would be bad. Uh, but as you know, take a step back, you do uh, notice uh, notice uh, moisture building on the ground right under the vehicle. Probably something that is leaking and has just been dripping uh, since you stopped. Okay. Is it like, <clears throat> does it have a color? Does it have like... It is a uh, caustic yellow type of deal. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. Okay, can yeah, I it's make wonderful. an intelligence check to figure out what it is? Yes, I mean, if you have any focus that you would like to use for that, I would. I do believe like something like engineering may help you in this. Yeah, I don't have engineering. The only thing I have is evaluation, but I think that that only helps. Yeah, that's with, like for uh, like value of like value. So yeah. yeah. I mean, it's expensive. It's expensive, so that's good. So fourteen, not bad. Fourteen. Uh, you, you know, I mean, you've like seen a vehicle like this, and you, you know that bigger vehicle probably run on multiple larger batteries. Uh, probably something somewhere, and one of them is has been been damaged through the you know the rough terrain and things like that, and 
the non-stop motion um, and probably started to leak and you know that you know one battery failure can lead to multiple failure if you know kept uh, unresolved per se yeah right <clears throat> so do i have so what do you have for uh, what do you have for items in your bag um well i was so what i'm looking for is stuff that i can put on to try to protect me from the battery acid to get that battery out okay what's in your bag um, Evelyn. Not a whole lot, because I didn't think about that. Um, I mean, I do have my traveler's garb. Which I don't know if I'm probably not wearing that under my armor. Um, Aria you... has some clothes that you can easily take that. She's like, these are basically shitty clothes that she just keeps for certain if we need cloth or something. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm just trying to like protect myself like I said from the battery acid. Like how caustic is this acid? Uh I mean on the ground it's not doing much. Nature of the ground itself. But like on you I mean you you mendle with weapons all your life. You probably yeah. know there was probably some, you know, issue with some some battery that you know did not function as they intended. Yeah, uh, I mean, and I have my armor. You know, it burned so like a motherfucker. Yeah, so I have my my armor and my gloves and stuff. Like that should be good. I'm just trying to add some other stuff on top of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Typically, like working with, you know, <clears throat> gloves or like leather glove things like that would help with that. Obviously, you know, prolonged exposure and will chew through the material. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, if it's like very, very quick and you need to, you know, pick it up, you know, take fabric, will do the job. Like, a sturdier material, better is better. better yeah. Is things like object with metal. But, do with what you have, right? Yeah. But on your skin, it'd be, it would be extremely painful and unpleasant. I'm sure that Avalon has a few, you know, possible, you know, uh, marking from past from battery accident. Probably not that scale because, you know, batteries for a weapon. Yeah. This is on the, the bigger size batteries that you can out. Okay. Um, do we have... <clears throat> so like is it is it a battery that we would possibly have I do believe uh, I'm not sure who has taken notes of the objects that you found in the sky hold but I do believe that you were able to salvage some larger batteries what kind of batteries are they like what name uh, uh and that so they would be essentially those uh, uh carcilla Rade batteries a oh, big yeah. big one yeah i uh, have some of those i'm sure that you have <laughs> so, yeah i'm sure that you have some ancient batteries there and there as well that could be of use know if wired properly yeah <clears throat> okay so i do i have three carcillary batteries on me <clears throat> so if that's what it's using i can totally swap one out um all right so i i get up uh i guess i'm getting up under the vehicle like do i need to like jack it up to get under there or like can i the way just... things are set up you could Probably like you know, wiggle you know, myself under. You could probably wiggle yourself and like work through like even the hood for that. And if anybody wished to assist you in this, they can. Uh, Aria will. 
I will be the extra pair of hands that you, if you need right. them. With assistance, the uh, challenge for the test will be lowered. So you may do me intelligence in. Okay, give me. First, oh. an, uh, intelligence engineering, you don't have that, just intelligence. And 10, a dexterity. Um, for like the journal manipulation. Okay. Uh, I think it so, would be uh, dexterity. Yeah, just dexterity. Okay, so for the engineering, for the intelligence one, it's an eight, but with six stunt points. Okay. <laughs> because I rolled two ones and a six. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is a cursed road trip, I swear. All right. So. Um. So you... that's for the engineering one. I mean, you you. You like you see like you see wire in wire out. You have a general idea of like yeah that's probably how you cook it up. Oh no wait sorry that's nine. I forgot to add my plus one so it's okay. a nine not an okay. eight. Okay. For what that you know. It's better. <laughs> I mean nine is a larger number, according to mathematics. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you? Just give me a uh, journal dexterity. Sure. Now, do I need to roll anything to get pluses, or is it just lowering? I'm the, just lowering. Um... Okay. So that's 12, 16 with six stunt points. Okay. I mean, you're not sure if you figured it out, but at least, you know, you're doing it with good, you know, without, you know, injuring yourself. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but whatever I'm doing seems to be whatever, working. Whatever you're doing seems to be working. Things are hooked up. <laughs> Should be working. It's in the driver's seat. All right. Turns it on. Ignition turns on. It waits a few seconds. Okay. So you wait. No engine is picking up. Everything here is. Making the noise that it should. The moment of tension, wonder like, gonna blow up. Uh, no. It's so, fine. Once it once like we've waited like the requisite like thirty seconds to a minute to make sure that it's working. <laughs> Everlyn goes, I did it. <laughs> And that's when Zach conveniently wakes up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Zach's like, you did what? I fixed the car. <laughs> and then he goes, oh God, and goes back to sleep. <laughs> I don't know if he would go back to sleep after that, because I think he would be like, oh no. And then <laughs> come into micromanagement. <laughs> Well, no, I'm assuming he thought it was a nightmare, and that's why he's just like, okay, yeah. no, I gotta go back to sleep. Evelyn's working on the car. It's a fever nightmare. He's running it's a, a temperature. <laughs> when in doubt, just go back to sleep and pray. Please tell me this is a dream. Oh, so, or sorry, which are basically lizard are running, running a temperature. Fever <laughs> dream. All right. But, yeah. Vehicles appear to be functional again. Alright, both. You, your journey as you will, if you wish to do stops along the way. Obviously, like driving non-stop, you know, made things a bit shorter for now. Um, I mean, is there anything, like, of interest between here and there? Like, it's... I mean, I'm sure if there was something, like, worth stopping for. Let me take a quick look at... I know so much about the general graphic. Like, I mean, if there's a a car repair shop. <laughs> or a giant ball of yarn. And bar of yarn. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, well known about it. The very, very famous ball of yarn. I'm trying to make this be like the Goofy movie. Yeah. You know what? Roll me a perception. If you notice anything of interest. 
I'm gonna do a oh. scene. That's not bad. So, 15 with three stun points. 15 with three stun points. Uh, Ooh. 15 as well. Uh, Alright. Uh, what is it? Seeing? Perception? Perception seeing. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Maybe you should do perception smelling 17. to see if you smell food. <laughs> I got 19. 19. All there right. is interesting stuff, Rafiki. Yo. Congratulations. What weird things of interest would you like to possibly see along the way? I will make it canon in this, in this world. It sounds like there needs to be a giant ball of yarn. Yeah. It's been like, that has time. to be a thing. Maybe it's a it's giant only ball of because that's yeah. literally the only thing I could think of. I mean, it's so not like necessarily maybe... a giant ball of yarn, but it's just a giant ball of, like, wire. Essentially, you know, IT nightmare. Wire or cable or something. <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, somewhere al alongside the road. Um, or even just no... a giant thermometer. It's just, the t it's just a giant ball of tangled up uh, headphone cords. <laughs> All the ones That's that even worse. <laughs> It's called it's, the knot. It's called the knot. It's a big, <laughs> it's a big tourist destination, especially this time of year. Uh, but there's, tourist. it's like all the uh, red, white, and yellow TV cables that nobody uses anymore, <laughs> or like old cell phone chargers. <laughs> yeah, whatever old like disuse, no longer in use cable has just been shoved in this pit at some point and through the magic of cables uh got tangled and formed like a just a general ball shape at least that's how legend goes uh it's about like trying to put in beat a nut metric um uh, well you know what you you could do it in e either way because i understand neither. <laughs> all right <laughs> I have no visual rep like I have to actually it's about, see it to imagine. It's, it's it. so about just like say it's real big. So it's about six meter tall. I'm like six one. I'm less than two meter. Way less than two meter. So it's about like six times my size. So it's like, um, so it's like eighteen feet tall. Fair. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. three basketball players standing on each other's shoulders. Yeah. Or however tall you are, like mu multiply that by. Yeah, I think I'm shorter than that. So. It's like if you take Zach and like stack him, <laughs> it's like three Zachs tall. <laughs> it's over three Zachs tall. That's how you. Zach's that's tall. our new. That's our new uh, unit of measurement. How many Zachs tall is it? Yeah. How or how many? How many Sabines short is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, it, it, you, know, you know, like, you know, there's like feet, inch, things like that. Well, you know, there's you know, Zach and Sabine, but two different, you know, measurement. Like, there's about like two or three Sabine in a Zach. That's our math. That's the math <laughs> of Titan's grave, y'all. This is going to be the math now. No more yards, just, you know. Zach and Sabines. How many Sabines away from me is this enemy? <laughs> no, jeez. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Alright, beside a giant big ball of, you know, lost and found wires. What... Uh, other two points of interest would you like to see your name before and sleep? A petting zoo. And right next door is the famous waffle hut with a giant waffle. Next door to the, the ball of wire? Yeah, next door to the petting surprisingly, zoo? Surprisingly, like, that's next the only to like, the tourist zoo. spot They're all like, just on in the, the row. Yeah. <laughs> One of those places. One of those places. But also, we're going to the petting zoo to free the animals, right? Like, that's... <laughs> and, you know, after you know, looking... We can do that yeah, but... when we're leaving. So after being, you know, amazed by the giant ball of wire, 
uh, you follow your nose, the uh, aforementioned Waffle House, not the Waffle House, but you know, a house where to say it's H A U S Waffle House. Waffle House. Waffle House. <laughs> waffle house. Would, you, uh, would you like some waffles? <laughs> See, when Jiggle's oh. not here, he cannot temper any of this goofing. <laughs> it's just goofs on goofs on goofs. Waffle House. Is Zach is in so the back. You 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 are sleeping. you are greeted by this oddly not very German, but you know, fantasy German orc. Would you like some waffles? <laughs> <laughs> he likes the waffles and the little bit of <laughs> <laughs> And for some reason, I'm thinking of Austin Powers. <laughs> the gold member. <laughs> I'll just, all of a sudden, like in my brain, I just had, I like gold. Isn't that weird? Like the movies I've had in my head for this. <laughs> Are the Goofy movie and Too Wong Fu <laughs> with the car incident? Look, I if, feel like it's a beautiful mixture of all if, all these things. If yes. anything, this whole campaign is just a giant tribute to old movies. <laughs> totally. All right. So, in the, you are in the waffle waffles house. Waffle house. Waffles house. The waffle house. Waffles house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be uh, Guntag, you serve it tonight. <clears throat> so, um, would you like some waffles? Yeah. <clears throat> Can I get chocolate chips on mine? Yeah. Whipped cream and maybe some ice cream. I mean, ice cream is very, very rare, especially in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you do get a, like you know a, a, a waffle with you know some chocolate chip and whipped cream. The ice cream, I mean, it's mostly melted by the time it makes to your ta it makes your table. Um, oh, that's okay. No, that just replaces the syrup. Yeah, there, there, <clears throat> like there's no ace in this place, and it's still hot as balls. So. So, um, Averlyn, um, would be like, okay, and I want my, I would like some hash browns, um, uh, but I would like them scattered, smothered, covered, chunk, topped, and diced. Oh, that sounds really good. Can I have that too? Yeah. And he, 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 he like, this very big, enthusiastic. Oh, hey, can you put, like, bacon in it? Yeah. So, for the record, for the record, that's if you order it at Waffle House, that's, uh, that's um, hash browns with onions, cheese, ham, chili, and diced tomatoes. So it's just like a, okay. <laughs> it's like a, it's a skillet. Yeah. Skillet. Yeah. Basically, just a side of hash browns with like everything in it. <laughs> that sounds bomb. <clears throat> Dang, I want Waffle House. <laughs> I hate it no, here. Now I want Waffle. <laughs> now I want Waffle House. <laughs> Right now, Rafiki, why do you have to make me hungry? Look, I I, 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 I just work here, okay? <laughs> I just work here. That's oh. true. We are the ones who brought up the Waffle House. Mm -hmm. so, would you like some waffles? It's on me. And it, it looks at, you know, Aria. Uh, let's see. Can I get French toast and... Uh, waffles, what is the French toast? Fuck, I, I slipped to my French accent now. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like Garçon. Yeah. <laughs> Can you bring me some French toast? <laughs> Can you bring me some yeah, French you, toast? The Waffle House. Uh, there's, there's Gaston the in the back that's actually a cook. <laughs> He's Belgian. I absolutely dislike the French. <laughs> she just goes, just give me the waffles. Just like you just see the cook just turn and look with just the most angry look. And it's like, okay, so he doesn't like 
Uh, Sabine, Sabine's like, oh, he's gonna spit in our food now. <laughs> no, he's gonna spit in mine. <laughs> so, eventually, you know, through, you know, the, the magic of montage and waiting. This is the uh, best episode so far. <laughs> 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 the wonder of the walls are, 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 are brought to you. Uh, it is a wonderful meal. It's extremely tasty. No spitball in the, in, in the uh, waffle. That's good. It, but it, it is really, really great food. Like, you would not expect such a good spot alongside of the road. Just in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. Right next to the giant ball of wire and the one odd petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is amazing food. Probably better than you know whatever you had as provision alongside the road, because you know after a while whatever you have you know if it's gonna keep for a while it's usually all that good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, having a meal you know, relaxing Whoa, a little what bit. What do we order for? What do we order for Zach? <laughs> I let y'all pick what you. He's oatmeal. Just kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we get him. Huh? If he's actually not feeling good, oatmeal with a uh, cinnamon happy face. I was thinking. I was thinking about doing something with a happy face. <laughs> either like, either like um, brown sugar, cinnamon, or like syrup. Like a syrup. Or like happy just face. like some, like some like um, nuts and dried fruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could totally do berries, yeah. Yeah. Like blueberries. I mean, yeah. what, what okay. do lizards eat? Like, <laughs> they eat I, I think they eat fruit. Yeah. And bugs, or, I guess. Yeah. Um, Thorin has you know, a varied diet. Yeah, they eat like meat and berries, I think. <laughs> they eat mostly the most same food as you people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, we're all kind of pausing, thinking of what to order, and we're like, do you guys remember what he eats? <laughs> it's basically we're all like oatmeal seems safe, like and some fruit, like that should be safe, right? The beans yeah, are like. Let's go with that. I don't even really remember what you guys eat most of the time, so no, I'm sorry. Usually I'm just laser focused on what's in front of me uh, on my plate, and I don't really notice what the rest of you are eating unless you don't finish it. <laughs> you just have a I mean, like, that, that's, like, fair. Yes, I'm always hungry. Ellen? <laughs> definitely gonna get some food to go, by the way. Oh, yeah, there's, Aria like, a lot like... of food. Like, you, you definitely have enough, like, for, like, a to-go option. Oh. Like... Not on her plate. She eats everything. Yeah. <laughs> She orders like two more meals to go with. For the for the price that you pay, it's surprisingly extremely large portions. Uh, essentially, like if you ever stop at a, oh. any rock stop and things like that, uh, meals are just ridiculously large. Do we have to? Do we have to go? Because I think I, I'm gonna retire and live here. I thought. The, the Waffle House. The Waffle House. <laughs> the Waffle House. The Waffle House. <laughs> Everybody loves the Waffle House. All right, that's it good. is the best place. That might be the t episode title. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves the Waffle House. <laughs> it was the Waffle House. <laughs> 20 minutes within the Waffle House. We have to love it. Yeah, this is this is the episode now, y'all. Just yeah. us in the Waffle House. <laughs> Nothing else <laughs> happens. So, Zach uh, has been going, it's been two days. <laughs> the can world, we go? No! The world, the world fucking ends and we're just at the waffle. <laughs> the world ends outside and you're just living here. <laughs> living your best life eating waffles. We're now the new owners. <laughs> you invested in the place. Getting a brand new waffle sign. I mean, I'm pretty sure we have the money. <laughs> Possibly. Lately. So, 
So while we're eating, I'm assuming that um, <clears throat> there's also some discussion about the uh, the petting zoo because I'm sure that Sabine has already done like some pre scouting before we went to go get food. Like, okay, so. <laughs> All right, so we can go check out the animals and then free them. But what if they can't live in the wild? Oh, that's is there right. enough room in the van? No. Could we get another van? Doesn't I don't know that we want to like take them with us. Like, do you want to get up and feed the animals every day? And clean their poo? No. But I mean, well, I mean, I grew up on a farm, so I'm used to it. But, so maybe I mean, this is like your heaven. <laughs> yeah. I have the, like the you have the animals? And the waffle house. And the waffle And the animals. <laughs> but I won't exploit them for money. But like, don't you think they like getting, you know, scritches from strangers, though? Like, I mean... Actually, now that I say that out loud, that sounds really, really weird. Because I don't like yeah. getting scritched by strangers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. But I am also not, like, an animal, so. True. I'm actually just looking at that llama who has its tongue out and yeah. really wondering about it. And, I mean... You're I wondering about the tongue? <laughs> no. The llama itself. It looks like it could kill a person. No, I, I was thinking about this like animals that are episode. in, 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 you know, in that you know, petting zoo because you wanted to go to a petting zoo. So there was, you know, it's, it's a, like I said, it's, it's an absolutely you know, shit petting zoo. The only thing that are there are like two llama like creature, but instead of like first just fetter, it's essentially like a null llama instead of null bear. An oh, owl so llama? A null that's llama. Cute. Okay. And I've, one of the. So they have. But they have, they have beaks like a beak instead of like a yeah. So one of them has their like tongue like hanging out the side of the owl llama. Okay, that's <laughs> so great. <laughs> Ew, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you know, they have okay. like sh they have like space and shades and water and food. Uh, but you know there's a, essentially like little uh, like you know those bubble gum machine. You can and you like you can put like like, like, a, a, like a, a, a gotcha bomb. Yeah, you can put like a, a copper like turn thing and like get food to like feed. The, our llama. I just think that these creatures should be in their natural environment. That's all. <laughs> this is this is the the mission after we save the world. We come back. So this is this is campaign three right here. Yeah. I'm, I'm setting it aside. I, I'm writing it for you, Rafi. Yeah. This is campaign. <laughs> In the upcoming seasons of, you know, Titan's Grave, there's gonna be like more like petting zoo things. So I'm gonna have to like to like find like old bestiary of like animals of the place. <laughs> We're gonna have to like, reach out to like Green Ronin and be like, okay, yeah. so tell us about the animals How, because like, if my if people wanted... want petting zoos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Green so, Ronin Publishing, if you're watching, uh, if you're watching, that's worth to get one of your theory. If you're watching, first of all, sponsor us. Um, Truth, first and foremost. Um, mm -hmm. Secondly, what's up? Let's talk. We got ideas. We got owl llamas on deck. Yes, that's pretty much it for now. But that's you know, all, come back to us. Have. That's so, literally all we have right now. <laughs> so. Because inquiring minds, that being me, wants to know. <clears throat> yes. How do you spell owl llama? Are there three L's in owl llama? Yes. I think it's O W L L. This is big. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh, so cute! It's so adorable. Goofy looking, I love it. So, um. Oh, that's our that's our group tattoo. We all have to. <laughs> so just because why not? Uh, it's gonna be O W L apostrophe L apostrophe L A M A. Just because it's gonna be weird. <laughs> so I can write it. It's okay. So it's O W L apostrophe L apostrophe L A M A S. Yeah. 
Because why not? I mean, the, 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 you know, the spelling, you know, does vary based on the region. Uh, there's, but most people, this, uh, this, uh, by most people, I mean me, decided that this is how it's going to be spelled. So there's like two owl llamas at this petting zoo. Is there anything else? No, that's pretty, that's the only that's the only thing they have here. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So what is the natural habitat of an owl llama? Uh, they they, they, they <laughs> like you know they like mountainous and desert place, which you know is you know fitting here. Okay. Okay, I made it better. Okay. Oh, he's got a bow tie. Oh. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm willing to you know if there's people in. Uh, or Twitch chat, just you know, suggest name for those two owl llama. Uh, please put it there. Uh, yes, chat. Give our owl llamas names. Do it. Uh, but yeah, there's there's two of those uh, just there, chilling. One with a derp tongue, like just like outside of his beak, uh, <laughs> just looking at you for food. You said derp tongue, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, because that's not what I heard. I'm sure you heard something different. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm sure it was not starting with a T, but yeah, with a very no. other different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I, I will try. <laughs> I'll try to compose myself, but I don't think I can. Look, it's been it's been a long week, long week, y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, currently at the petting zoo. I think zoo. the Selene is broken. <laughs> All right. So, currently at the petting zoo. Anything else you wish to accomplish in this place? Or thing to road again. I mean, I'm totally gonna <laughs> feed the owl llamas. All right. So for like, like you know, for like you know, a copper, you can like get a handful of food. <clears throat> okay. And uh, so like, I hold my my hand up like this. Feed those weird bird mammal creature. <laughs> the bastard child of an ostrich and a llama, I think. <laughs> um. All right, and I mean they take the feet and uh, the, 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 the feed, the food. Uh, you you can feel like the, the, the little beak, you know, picking a bit at, at your end. Uh, but because they're not a very gentle animal, they would probably eat heartbeat if they could. But oh, owl, owl llamas are vicious. I mean, no, in certain condition they could be extremely vicious, like any birds, because birds are basically dinosaur. Can fight me on that. Do they have wings? Uh, they have like uh, small wings. It's essentially like, like, like I said, like you know, it's essentially the bastard child of like an ostrich and uh, a llama. So they, so they, it has they have like they, four they have legs, four, four legs like, and and wings. But they like to, like the the rigid, the digit whatever those fucking backwards knees shit. <laughs> this no, is, this is gone. Kind of from cute to slightly terrifying. Hey, you know, no, they, no, they have like regular llama legs. I think. Okay. Yeah, I think they do. They have too. talons at the end. I, this means talons now, apparently. Yeah. Uh, they don't. Uh, no, they would not. No, they would not have talons at the end. They would have like a, a sharp beak for for like eating, uh, but there's no talons. Okay. So, um, how long have we spent on this? Ten I don't know. <laughs> well, like, so these creatures, like, I've never seen an owl llama before. No, it, it, it is a very, you know, not, not something that, you know, you will see often. Uh, so, of course, it, like, it's native from the Averlin region. Is, Averlin is totally like, oh my god, this is so cool. Um, like, are they. And then, of course, she's also trying to, like, do some recon for Sabine because she knows Sabine probably still wants to set them free. So she's like, okay, so, like, how old are they? So you're asking, you know, uh, whoever is around? Mm -hmm. Whoever is supposedly taking care of the owl llamas. <laughs> like, do they look like they're in good health? Like, do they seem 
well. I mean, not yeah. that I would really know. So it <laughs> would be like a uh, Cletus, your local farmer. So uh, oh <laughs> these two like little beastie here uh, are like about like ten years old, but all llama can live until like you know, about like they're twenty. So they're like ah, wait, they're like, uh, to reach maturity. Oh, okay. So, like, have you, like, always raised them? Like, did you raise, like, their parents, too? Or, like, did you, like, poach them in the desert? Like, how did you oh. how did you come to own these two, like, owl llamas? Well, you see, like, like, <laughs> Ger uh, Ger Gertrude and Freddy here, uh, like, I, I found them, like, I, as oh, little, you know. It's too cute. Babies in the wild. And uh, they were uh, they were injured. Mom and pop could not be found around. So you know, old Cletus here, you know, decided to take them under his like figurative wings, cause you know, obviously I'm not a bird. Um, and you know, I you know I met my my friend here at a waffles house, and uh, you know we decided you know what, make you know a good business venture here. You know, help you know those animals, you know. Have them fed here and there, and you know, get them back in shape. It's been, you know, part of family ever since. I think hearing this, Sabine would be in her edge, like, I stand down. <laughs> All the llamas have had a good life. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm trying to think is there anything else Averlyn would want to know? About the owl llamas. I don't know if there's anything else she would like to know. So, like, so they look kind of like camels or horses. Can you, like, like, have you ever ridden them? Like, is that something you can do? I mean, I hear that some part, in some part of the country, there's people that just race them. Like, they actually, like, up on their back and just race it across, like, a track. But I would never that, do that to uh, Gert uh, and Trady here. They're like, like I said, they're a part of the family. Okay, so like you totally could, like they totally could support the oh, weight yeah. of like a human. I mean, or like no, a they, halfling. They, like probably like your little, your little friend there, like probably much better. Like your jockey tends to be on the shorter side. But like the like the other friend over there, like any points to the queen, you know, it's a bit taller, probably a bit heavier, and you know, this little one, you know, may not be so good. So Everlyn looks at Sabine and she goes, "Do you want to try to ride one?" Look, I'm not encouraging mischief here, but I am. <laughs> oh, um, it, only if it's okay and it won't hurt the animals. I mean, if you ask it nicely first, and you know it says, "All right," then I guess you can try. Okay, but so you have to ask approach. for permission from you know one of them. So, so fucking stupid. So he's gonna approach, <laughs> gonna approach one of the owl llamas, All and right. like hold out her hand, like for it to sniff and get like a good, you know, get get the vibes off of her, um, and then say, um, can All I? Right. Uh, is it okay if I ride you? So I, I, I mean, I mean, you may surprise me. But do you have do, do you have the animal handling uh, no. focus, or just no. give me a general communication test? Okay, let me see what my stats are. Okay, you see if you get get your I picked out. Okay, come on, fuck me up. Okay, it's not bad. Can I use bargaining? Sure, I will allow it. If she has food, can she have bonuses? Because Averlyn totally still has more food. If you have food, yeah. I will lower the test differently. Okay. Yeah, Averlyn totally would have given her, like, food to try to butter up the animal. It's this game anymore. I love it. <laughs> uh, 16. So, 16. Uh, so, our, our pr oh, approaching... Oh, with three stunt points. Okay. So, I mean, I, I guess you could you. I mean, you can use whatever... I guess Jess would, you know, you're making the proper movement. Um, She's like doing a bird Yeah, you know, kind of bird persuasion dance. I don't uh, know why I'm fucking like, I'm fucking like a chicken, but... 
Uh, <laughs> so you approach either Gertrude or Jerry, uh, whichever you want to. Um, and they seem to be willing to let you ride them. I mean, it's going to be one heck of a ride, but you can try. Okay. I um, find a, a stool. <laughs> I mean, you know, with help, some help. Uh -huh. <sighs> oh, Avalyn is totally down for this. She's like, helping her get up on the bird. Like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do you have by any chance uh, riding focus? No. Then just give me a Gerald dexterity test. Okay. As, just hold on tight. <laughs> as either Gertrude or Jerry, whichever you decided to ride, is just booking it. Which one did you grab? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, which one looks nicest? Uh, which one had the tongue flopping out? That'd probably be Jerry. Okay, I'm on Jerry. <laughs> oh, God. He's a special oh, boy. You, you said Dex? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I just dropped all my die. Hold on, I have to re-roll. Oh, I regret uh... nothing about this, by the way. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, you, you might regret in a second once I uh, tell you what I got. <laughs> Just saying. Still um, no okay. regrets. This is amazing. Okay. Um, <laughs> what did you get fair? This is hard to tell us. I got a seven with one stone. <laughs> How much? Seven. All right. So. But with a stunt point, she does have a stunt point. All right. Well. Yeah, so I'm fine, right? <laughs> so Jerry books it. You are about to try to hold on. I mean, Jerry goes. The bean does not. <laughs> <laughs> in the most Looney Tune style, <laughs> like you see that Al Lama just like book it, and you just see Sabine still somehow in the air for like a hot second before she fall on her ass. Um, I'd say like you take one point of bludgeoning damage as you fall on your butt. I think you're like you're like your like ego is probably a bit more bruised than the actual damage that you took. But I don't know if I'm smart enough for my ego to be bruised. <laughs> Just like, whoa, that was awesome! <laughs> Ow, my ass! And that's when everyone goes, oh my god, I didn't get your camera! <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Can I do it again? <laughs> well, Jerry booked it and Gertrude, like, follow suit. So, it may take a little bit before they come back. Okay, well, when they come back, here's what I got on my, my writing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Nice. <laughs> Everyone runs back to the car to get the Polaroid. I got 13. This All right. time. I have, I have to get up. I have, like, I... mascara in my eyes. And I was oh, no. Because I, I laughed so hard, I started crying. So... Uh, can I just say that... Arya probably went back and got popcorn, came back out, and just is skinny. Oh, the hunt for house. dear life. Arya went back to the waffle house and she's like eating hash browns out of a cup or something. Old. They're tater tots. They're tater tots. Fair. The old they hunt for dear life. You no, know, for like a good, you know. Two minutes at most. Uh, you are like riding on Jerry, and he's booking it. Like you have like water in your eyes from there, like just. Uh, and, but you know he's riding, running. Um, but you know eventually you know he stop and solo and you know get more food because that's just how Jerry is. But that uh, was one heck of a ride. So then when he stops to get food, like, she can, like, safely dismount. 
Yeah. Okay. So while he's eating, like, I try to take the opportunity. So I tried to get one. I tried to get two photos. Everyone tried to get two. One of them while, like, Jerry is, like, streaking off with her on his back. Yeah. And then the other one, like, when he stops to eat, she tries to get one that's, like, not not blurry. Yeah, the first one, blurry as fuck. <laughs> like, Polaroid are not made for action shots. Yeah. Second one, yeah, it's all right. All right, <laughs> visiting the painting zoo, uh, visiting the giant ball of fire, oh and God. eating for days. The zoo is about to close for the night and evening. The waffle house is also like also about to you know close for the evening. What the uh, waffle, waffle house, house closes for hours? Waffle house does not close. Yeah, well, there's, there's only two people in that working that place that goes here and there. And let's face it, like, sure, so. it, it's, it's not a high traffic area here. Right? So. Yeah, get, please get me out of this area because I'm going to die laughing. Oh my god, so much mascara in my eye. Eventually, you hit the road. After living some of the wildest adventure in the direction of the matter, like about you know a few days, probably you know making stop to make sure that the car does not overheat. You learn from your mistakes, and you come across what would be the general vicinity of the matter. You are able to sit up of a hill. Uh, but with no actual clear path how to go there, except you know at, at the at the end of the, the road there's um, uh, what would be a, a stone gate, but without actually any entrance. I think that's where we're gonna leave it for tonight. <laughs> because should I guess that I will happen in this house? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was well interesting. That was not exactly what I was expecting, but you know what? I don't think Fuck it was roll with it. Any of us? No, but it was amazing, and my face hurt so bad. And this was exactly what I needed. You know what? Sometimes yeah. we just need like a, a, sh a shenanigan episode after like a weird lore dump, like last time. Oh, I think. Lost a fair? Did we lose a fair? Now that's what we were expecting. Yeah. <laughs> fair needed to disappear for a second. I, uh, yeah. I needed to I I threatened to like completely leave and I follow through with that threat. <laughs> Alright. So uh, as we are wrapping and winding down for D. Uh, <laughs> from this. Uh, yeah. Tell us, tell us the amazing people, the lovely people at home. Uh, we are where they can find you, uh, all that jazz. And I'll just wrap, rec recap the earlier announcement for us as well. Uh, let's go in the backward order. Um, Resident, you know, our llama artist, uh, Kitty. Hi. Um, hey, I'm Kitty. You can check out the pictures that I just drew of our lovely owl llamas on Twitter at insane kitty 32 or just find that thread that's currently been made by fair and uh you can find me also at my store on etsy <laughs> uh, causality cat studio where you can pick up one of these lucky dice trees sometimes it gives luck sometimes it doesn't <laughs> especially tonight but then again I'm saying this is all because of a great story. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you guys can find me there. I might start streaming Valheim of doing builds. So I'll keep uh, that updated on Twitter. But that's pretty much it for me. All right. Celine, do you want to go next? Yeah. Hi, I'm Celine, apparently causer of chaos today. Um, you can... Uh, find me here on Thursdays. You can find me on my channel, twitch.tv slash Celine. Uh, <clears throat> you can find me on Twitter at Celine. Um, 
where I, you know, basically vent about, you know, life and everything else that I'm doing. Um, I'm also fundraising for <clears throat> the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention uh, through the rest of the year. And of course, I don't have the link handy because why would I do that? So I'm going to go grab that real quick. Um, but that's a, um, you know, it's a, a cause that's near and dear to my heart. And um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what sorts of fun shenanigans I can get into through the end of the year to try to fundraise a little bit more. So look out for some announcements about that. And and fair hi i'm fair i have been your uh i don't if i don't i can't even think of a good thing to say right now i have been sabine mooncrest um let me see thursdays you can find me here uh goofing around with these people um sat this saturday you can find me over on fortner.com's channel for a D&D uh, &D charity stream benefiting uh, research for uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, that is at uh, noon Eastern. And here's a little link. Um, later, the, later on Saturday night, you can find me over on Rolling Beast 20s for our Vampire the Masquerade campaign Philly by Night. Um, and then just generally, you can find me on Twitter at Fairbear. You can also find me on my own channel at twitch.tv slash Fairbear, where I stream whenever I want. And that's about it. Hey, Follow don't me you make on your Twitter. schedule? Yeah, I do what I want. Um, but I recommend following me on Twitter because I do have a lot of things coming up in October. Uh, and that is the best way to know what the hell I'm doing at any given time. Even if it's nothing. And I'm Rafiki. I stream here uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, with, currently, with this love cast uh, of Chaos, Joy and Shenanigans. I love them so much. <laughs> uh, but outside of that, uh, on Tuesday, I, I, I'm on the player site on Raven's channel uh, for like a Dragon Age campaign. Where I'm the only elf in the party. Everybody else is human. That's interesting. Um, outside of that, I do music under Raven Skull Production. Do that before you know somebody yell, yell at me again. <laughs> so you can check it out. You know, I made the like intro, uh, video music, and the intermission, intermission music as well. So. Uh, that's what I do here and there. Uh, we'll be back actually here on the channel tomorrow for a charity one shot benefiting Tab's Love. Uh, as you know, this month is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Tab Love is one organization. It's better men. Charity because that verb that I wrote at this point explains it better than I ever will. Uh, essentially, they're uh, working back to back cancer better, and once they recover, uh, to live happy life cancer free after. So, uh, yeah, join us tomorrow, same time, as uh, uh, our usual Thursday stream, 8 p.m. ED, or whatever it is in your time zone. I'm not a time zone converter. Um, <coughs> But your donation will impact the game from anything from healing potion advantage to wild magic to even a pull from the deck of many because that will not cause any issue or shenanigans, right? So all that uh, and benefiting, you know, a good cause. So yeah, uh, join us tomorrow for this. And during the stream, uh, at certain goals met, uh, there's going to be a giveaway, including some... Uh, entire dice set to a big chunker and i uh, also have a copy of low stake which is a small uh etrpg loosely inspired from what i heard uh, by uh, what we do in the shadows 
which is ridiculous film, quote unquote, documentaries about vampires. Um, which I absolutely recommend watch as well. So yeah, join us tomorrow. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So until that, well, see you next Thursday for whatever will happen after that. <laughs> Honestly, even I at this point, I don't know. Um, but neither do we. Look, we're totally Scooby doing it up in the spooky manor next week. Yeah. Exactly. You know, no, there, there, it's gonna. I mean, I don't know. Maybe like next week is gonna be like a, a tribute to Scooby Doo, like they said. Yeah, um, we're gonna be sneaking through. We're gonna be finding the secret passages. We're gonna be stacking our heads up while as we peek around corners. It's gonna be awesome. And so we're gonna. Does that mean be... that Jim is going to be found within the van. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's gonna be Scooby. <laughs> Yes, Sabine. exactly. Sabine's we don't know how we sandwich. got there. Sabine's gonna make a sandwich that she's like, oh, I need my, my mouth too yeah, small for this sandwich. I not, that, no, I make a big sandwich and then I somehow manage to squish it down and fit it in my mouth. <laughs> I mean, Kind of like tonight, to be honest, because that sandwich was not was kind of big. Um, All right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, see y'all next Thursday. Thursday. Have a good night. Good night. Hi. Hi, everybody.